Hello and aloha, everybody. How is it going for you folks today? Rick here with the next episode of Actually Editions. Um, Sue, who happens to be my wife, asked me what I could use those colored crystals, those shiny crystals that I made last time I played. What do you use them for? So, today we are going to show her. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Go into the world. I did most of the crafting because you guys have seen me craft already. So I've saved some odds and ends so that uh, you can see what's going on. Also, uh, I've permanently, as far as I could, disabled the, the weather because I hate it when it snows. It's so aggravating. So anyway, one of the things that I have found with this particular setup that I have here. It works good, but it takes a really, really long time to grow. All right, and I'm finding myself running out of power. So what I did is I went running around, <clears throat> excuse me, I went running around and I got a whole bunch of seeds uh, from the plants and then I put them in the, uh, the energy thing there uh, to compress it down into... Um, oil so we can get some energy so anyway let me show you what we are going to make today so we're going to make this garden glass here this garden glass i need to use and what you do is you put it over top of something that you want to grow and it really increases the speed so uh once we get it i'll show you how it goes i'll show you how to craft that i, I crafted most of the stuff i need to do it also i'm going to do a dank null what this is is it'll allow me whenever i'm harvesting say like uh going mining and so on uh, excuse me and um i get a lot of cobblestone i could put cobblestone in this dank null here and what it'll do is it will collect that cobblestone and delete it for me so i don't have to keep throwing it away because it's a bit of a pain in the butt um this is the vertical digger we talked about this last time so um i've got everything we need for this except for this right here which we will do in a little bit this is a uh, void crystal block which we got to put through the empower and then i've got everything we need for the uh xp saver so let's go over here to our chest i've cleared out my inventory as you can see except for uh basically what i need this is everything that i need for today's crafting hopefully so let's go ahead. The first thing we're going to do, let's get that dank null done. Since that's just basically, you know, basic Minecraft stuff. So we need five of these. And one dank null. Okay, now the way this works, you look at the sky. And you got, you hold shift, right click. Now this gives you the opportunity to put in nine different items that you do not want to go into your inventory. So I'll put cobblestone, granite, diorite, andesite, dirt, uh, some odds and ends. I don't know what else I want to put in there. That way I don't have to worry about um, having to get rid of that every time I'm out, um, uh, I'm out mining or what have you. So let's go ahead and get rid of the dank null. We got it. Now, our next thing that we're going to do here, we're going to do the... Um, Garden glass. You actually get two per, and I did not realize that, so I went and I crafted a whole bunch that I didn't need. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how the empower part works. So what you do is uh, you make a palace crystal block, and to do that you just um, put a lapis lazuli block in front of the uh, atomic reconstructor and zap it, and it turns it into this. So to get the um, the um, oh whatever that block is called, I can't remember. That's all right. These things, empowered crystals. Okay, to get those, what you do is you put the lapis block in the center, and then you put three of these around the edge, the uh, prismarine shards, and you get those by zapping nether quartz with the atomic reconstructor and it gives you one there so that makes it a lot easier than trying to find a stupid 
uh, whatever they're, they're some kind of uh, underwater palace or something. I don't know. I can never find them, so I always get killed when I do find one. All right, so let's go ahead and get her zapped up. All right, there it is. Don't really need that one, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and I wanted to show you how that worked. So let's go ahead and make our greenhouse glass. So we want 11 by 11 size wise. So that's going to be 121. And here comes the cat. I'm going to be walking across. But I had some. Oh, well, I got to go find my uh, glass. I thought I had my glass. Maybe I don't. I might have to cook some, cook some up. Um, up, 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 up. None there. Oop. There's 18. So let's go ahead and get it started for now while I go try and find some more. Let's toss that in there and it'll split it. That'll cook it per pretty quick. I thought I had a lot more... Uh, sand than that, but I guess I didn't, so let's go see if we can find some place to get some sand. If anybody knows how to get rid of that sand, or to get rid of the uh, snow all over everything, would you please leave me a comment um, in the video so I can get rid of it? Uh, other than, of course, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Other than putting torches all over everywhere, because that looks really tacky. I have Piper sitting next to me here. He's being He's being a sweet boy. You know how he is. You guys have seen him on my streaming uh, before. So let's see here. I need some food. I'm a little hungry. I don't want to eat my apple, though. I got some bread or something. Didn't I make bread? I thought I made bread. Let's check. Nope, it's not in my backpack. Maybe it's in this one. Yeah, it's in this one. Let's have some bread. Okay, that's good. Now let's go over here and check our glass. Oh yeah, that should be plenty, I think. We were making garden glass, weren't we? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twenty-two. Which is not enough. But we can go ahead and get it started. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to make it kind of nice. Um, make it look cool. So let's find out what we're going to use. We're going to use something here for a... Uh... You know what? I kind of like the, how that looks. Let's see what it looks like when it's just sitting on the ground. Oh, yeah, I like that. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use that as the uh, side pillar. Um, but I need to move this. Do I have a chest transport? Ah, uh, I do not. That's one that I have not put in the mod pack. So all this stuff's going to pop out, but that's okay. Let's pop that down on the ground. All right, now let's go ahead and toss the chest back down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to change over. you got to go up two. All right. Yeah, so I got Restonia here. So you got to go up two. So that I need two, four, six, seven more. Let's go ahead and go over and change these over to the shiny ones here. Let's find out what it is first. Let's find out what the recipe is. Um, empowered. Oop. Restonia, what do you got to have? Nether brick, brick, and red dye. Okay, there's my red dye. That's all I need there. But I do need some brick. So, get some of this stuff over here and put it in the chest.
Don't need these worms. Don't need that. Don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. So. What I need to do is I need to cook up some. Clay. So. One. Four, five, six, seven. We need seven netherrack. Right? And what else was? It? And brick, brother, and redstone. And I got plenty of redstone. So let's get over here to the furnace. Which I gotta remember where I put it. I really need to organize my base a little bit better. Get the glass out of there. Now we're going to turn off the splitting so it doesn't uh, split what we're putting in there because we want them to cook them at the same time. See, like that. What we're going to do is, is they don't make the double furnace. This is this was the double furnace. They don't call it the double furnace anymore. So it's not needed. This one looks like it might run a little long. I may cut some stuff out. Okay, we got what we need, so let's go ahead and get it fired up. Uh, let's see here. Where's the brick? Where's the brick? Where's the brick? There's the brick. And there's the nether brick. And I got all my redstone, so we're good. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. I'll show you how this works one time, and then I'll go ahead and cut out. Um, oop, just need some redstone. Until uh, next time. And I need to bring the red dye down. Okay, here we go. I guess it depends on what color you have around the edges here. That's what color the beam is. So that's kind of cool. But crystal shard I don't need. So let's just get rid of that. Boom, gone. Delete. That's what I meant to hit. Wrong button. All right. So there is the first one. So I'll go ahead and cut here and finish these things offline. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, everybody. There we go. We got our all our Restonia. So let's go ahead and get over here and put the rest of them up. Should look pretty cool. All right, there we go. And what we'll do is we'll put the glass between them. Now, I need to go make some more because definitely 22 is not going to be enough. I think it's like 120-something I need. So, let's see here if I can make some more. You know what? I forgot about that. Let's turn that off. Anyway, let's try that again. Uh, that gives me 27. So let's go ahead and start with the 27. And what I can do is I can finish it up um, offline. I just gave you an idea what this is like. Uh, I wish I had something other than all that stuff. So let's go over here and snatch a piece of dirt. All right, so... This is how it works. Now, what I believe I understand is it only works in daytime. Naturally. Just like a regular greenhouse, it's got to be daytime for it to work. Okay, so that gives me some. And the sun is coming up here, so let's go ahead and see what I'm missing as far as being able to craft more of them. Oh, I'm just missing the glass. That's, that's, that's not a problem. Oop, that's not what I want. Um, glass is easy. So all I gotta do is harvest some uh, some sand. The reason it took a lot longer than I expected 
to uh, make those Restonia blocks was exactly for the reason I want the glass. I ran out of power. So, all right, so the sun is coming up. So let's go around here and look so you can see see what it looks like. As you see, see how much quicker that's grown? Look at that. You talk about faster. Wow, man. Amazing, huh? Look how much faster that's grown. Between the uh, garden glass and the worms, this thing's really a book. Anyway, let's go ahead and go over and finish the other things I was wanting to do. So the garden glass is done. I think we're only going to do the XP thing. So um, I need to make an empowered diamantine whatever. I ever pronounce that. So for that, I need... I did go find all the diamonds I needed. That was kind of nice. Although that hurts. Um, you got to change them over to whatever those things are called. I took my ring off because uh, it, it made it very difficult. All right, so now I got... Oh, wait a minute. I got to find out what it takes to turn them over. So I don't know what else I need. You need light blue dye, two things of clay, and a block of clay. Now, the light blue dye... Put a poppy, gives you red, light blue, you put an orchid. Well, I tell you what, orchid I did not expect to have to get. So, folks, bear with me, and I will be back in a little bit and get some orchids. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Let me tell you, that took about 20 minutes to find some stupid orchids. That's crazy. Almost like uh, trying to find cactus. Um, see if... Uh, I can show you where the cactus was here. I didn't mark the orchids, by the way. Uh, cactus was... Desert, right there. It's, uh, what is that? 1,900 blocks away. I mean, I spent a long time going out there and finding that green... Uh, cactus green. Anyway, we've got a bunch of blue now, so let's go ahead and get this done. I don't even remember now what we were working on. What were we working on? Oh, the experience thing. Yeah. So we need uh, that. Oh, shoot. So it's blue dye, clay, and a clay block. And we need two of them. Right? Where'd my other one go? Where'd my other one go? Oh, I think it's already on the Empower. Oops, sorry about that. I bumped. Alright, so let's find the clay. Where's my clay? Where's my clay? I got a bunch of clay. I just have to find it. Nope. Is it up in my backpack? Nope. I'm gonna just throw it on the ground. Uh, not in here. Must be in my crates. Yeah, there's my clay. So I need... That ain't gonna work. Two blocks of clay. Very good. So, boom, boom, up, up. We're gonna put that down, and we're gonna put that down. So, let's put that, 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 and the die. Boom. Yeah, it must change the color. That's kind of cool, man. I like that. It's cool. So anyway, we're going to get two of these, and then we're going to make the um, XP storage thing. And I was going to make the vertical digger, but um, I don't think I'm going to after all. So getting This video is turning out to be quite long, so it's time to put it away. Call it. Call it done. Okay, empowered di diametine whatever block. Okay, we got that, we got that, and we are doing that. So let's get this one done, and we will be good to go. And then I'll make the rest of the garden glass and cover up our uh, canola over there and really increase 
the uh, rate at which we produce power. Free up storage space. Well, hang on a second, everybody. I got to pause the video. Okay, everybody, we're back. Sorry about that. I, I didn't realize I had it directed to my uh, my C drive instead of my D drive, which is what I'm using for my recording. And I was running out of space. So I had to stop the video and, and move it over to the D drive. So anyway, we got our diamantine or, yeah, whatever, crystals. So let's go ahead and get the XP finger made. We got everything we need, and boom! All right, now I'm not quite sure how to use this. So let's read what it says. All right, the experience solidifier uses the player experience and turns it into solidified experience, which can be later used by right clicking or sneak right clicking to use a full stack to get the experience back. Additionally, you can put solidified experience into any solidifier and will pick up any XP orbs that are on the ground and turn them into solidified experience. You know, I could do like a mob grinder or something, um, provided they weren't created by it. Solidified experience is also sometimes dropped from mobs. Eh. Okay. Let's see how this works. Just kind of toss it right there. Of course, I'm going to change where it goes. Do I stand on it? It doesn't say that it's supposed to take uh, power. Oh. Boom. Just like that. That is awesome. And if I want some, I get one, five, ten, blah, 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 blah. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and finish this for the day. I guess next time we will do a vertical digger because I've got almost everything that I need for the vertical digger. I got the drill and everything. It's just this video is really, really getting long. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. We'll do the vertical digger, vertical digger next time around and plus some other stuff. So anyway, everybody have a good day. Be sure to check out my other videos on YouTube because there are some of them out there. And uh, Minecraft, etc., etc. Yeah, see, I got my backpack on. Anyway. Mahalo, everybody, for coming in. You have a good day, and aloha.